What's going on guys? Well, if you guys like making stubs in the MLB The Show 24, this is the video for you. We're gonna be talking about all ways to make stubs in MLB The Show 24. The first two we're gonna talk about, we're not gonna talk about too much in this video because we're, they're gonna have their own video and that's gonna be flipping on the market. We're gonna have our own flipping video. So if you guys need or want to know how to flip cards efficiently in MLB The Show 24, be sure you guys subscribe and turn notifications on. And also we're gonna be talking about investments, how to invest in cards for live series, roster updates, and knowing how what to do and how to pre-order cards when you know that cards are gonna get upgrades, what pre-orders mean and everything like that coming in a future video as well. Be sure you guys have those notifications on and you are subscribed. And today we're gonna be talking about some ways that you guys can make stubs, but it's not like right away, but ways to think ahead right now about making stubs. That way, when that day comes, you can make some stubs. So let's talk about it right now. Let's talk about the, so I'm gonna move my camera because otherwise you guys ain't gonna be able to see nothing. Let's go ahead and move the camera. Oh, it's locked, so I can't move it. So I'm just gonna show it to you. So coming up on the 29th, we have an egg hunt program. Could have some stubs in there, but we have a ranked program update and that's what we're gonna be featuring a lot right now. And that's because if you go to the rank program, you're going to see something. You're going to see at 100 stars, you get a World Series reward. But better yet, at 75 stars, you get the Andrew McCutcheon. But before that, we are on the first drop. There is a second drop, and that's what's launching on the 29th. The first drop, if you do all these missions and you do all these stat missions, you will have 75 stars. The problem is, is 75 stars does not get you to the World Series pack. And that's because the World Series pack is tied behind. You have to hit World Series in order to get these cards right now. But on the 29th, drop number two is going to come out. And then everyone is going to be able to get these cards by getting 100 stars in the program. So what does that mean? Well, very few people will hit World Series probably by the 29th, at least very few, like less competitive people. The people that have hit World Series already and people are about to hit World Series are people that are play the game a lot. They play a lot of ranked seasons. They're probably very good at the game because ranked seasons is very sweaty. So what are we looking at? So 100 stars, you get a card, Ernie Banks or Randy Johnson. And I'll go ahead and turn the camera back on. I completely forgot. Now these cards go for quite a bit of stubs. 500,000 for Ernie Banks or Randy Johnson, 389,000. Selling out is 300,000 on both of them. So we can say at the very minimum, they go for 300,000 stubs. Now, of course, when the ranked program season or drop two comes out, these prices will go down. However, if you already finished everything in drop one, which I'm probably gonna try to grind this out too by the 29th, next week I'm probably gonna be all ranked seasons. If you grind all that, you're at 75 stars, which makes you only about 25 stars away. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at the missions. I keep on backing out by accident, but let's take a look at the missions and what, how many stars you get for each mission. So especially like these other missions down here. So you're not gonna have to play too much. 8,000 PXP, that's seven plus five, that's 12 plus three is 15 plus three is 18 plus 25. That's 21 stars right there if you do all these missions. And these missions aren't that hard, won't take you that long. The any missions, however, will take you a little bit longer. However, you play 50, that's another five. You're already at the 25 right there. 50 innings, you're done. So like roughly around six, seven games, you could have this done and then hit that 100 stars and get that pack. And if you are one of those first people to get that pack, that card is still probably gonna sell for around 300,000 stubs. Now you get that card, and now I'm telling you, literally a day or two after you get that card, everyone starts getting that card, and that price of that World Series player is going to drop from 300K to 70K to 50K to 25K, and then you could just buy it back for 25K, you sold yours for 300K, you made well over 200,000 stubs in profit just because you were ready. You had the rank season program already at 75 stars. You were ready for the new rank seasons program update so you could get to that 100 stars really quickly. You, and you were able to sell this card fairly quickly, make your stubs, buy it back later. And in fact, you could buy both of them back later and still make 200,000 stubs. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And that's the type of things that we're talking about. Little things like that that can make you a lot of stubs 
in MLB The Show 24. Um, obviously, Battle Royale is not the same because in Battle Royale, the program reward is not sellable. But if we go over to another game mode called Events, you can do the same thing in events. However, these cards aren't going for very much right now. They're not very sought out cards. They're not the best in the game, but even like Grayson Rodriguez, 14K. At first he was 26K. So you should have sold him for 26K and you can buy him back now for 14K. That's some profit. Guys like Anthony Rendon, he was also around 31K and now you can buy him for 17K. Could have made some decent profit there. Now it's not hundreds and hundreds of thousands, but it's still some really good profit that you guys can earn just from that. And also while doing the event, you're gonna earn XP, you're gonna earn stubs. Same with rank seasons, you're gonna earn that XP in the XP reward path. There's a lot of XP in multiplayer modes this year. So events has a lot of XP, uh, ranked has a lot of XP, and battle royale also has a lot of XP. It's just battle royale programs. Uh, these diamond players, these are sellable. So you could sell these and hope that the price goes down, but they are around 10K each. So you definitely could sell all these diamond players and make some stubs, but at the same time, if you, if a flashback, Legends of Flashbacks collection comes around and you don't have these cards, it's definitely gonna hurt you when coming to complete that collection. So keep that in mind. If you do sell those, you, you're gonna have to buy them back. So hopefully they don't go up in price because that's what typically happens is when a collection comes out, those type of cards will go up in price because they're only attainable by buying them. You can no longer earn them until rewind packs later in the year. Now, another way to make stubs is obviously to do the rank seasons and get up to like the 700 rating. Obviously that's not gonna be for everyone in this video, but if you do so, we get something called a vault pack. You get a choice pack and a one in two chance. So a 50% chance at a diamond player pack. You can get, and you get two choices in this pack. So you can get two diamonds in, essentially in this pack. And I have seen someone get Trout and Otani in this pack at the same time and be able to pick both of them. So this pack could be very, very valuable, but you have to hit the 700 ratings and ranked in order to achieve it, at least right now. So a little bit on the hard side, but is it something that you guys think you can do? Definitely hit for that 700 rating threshold in, in ranked seasons, whether it's co-op or whether it is 1v1, if you have a friend that could carry you there, have them carry you there, get you to that 700 rating so you can make some subs that way. And hopefully you get lucky in that pack. Obviously with packs, it is all pretty much luck. And always when it comes to like the schedule, always keep an eye on it. On April 5th, we have three legendary storylines coming out. So new storylines, it looks like. On April 12th, we got Team Infinity Chapter 2. So more packs, more millionaire packs, hopefully. The A cunt one that comes out the same day as the rank program update. Supercharges for opening day could be an investment. Some cards that get supercharged for opening day. But anyways, that is going to be it for tonight's video or today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that like button. Thumbs up the video. It helps out with the algorithm. Comment down below if there's anything you guys want to ask me, tell me. Suggestions on what videos to make, anything like that. Or if you just want to say hi. Comment down below. I definitely read all comments and I will reply to your comments if you have something to say. And of course, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.